talking to this lady. This lady was talking about her son, who um, she was really, really angry and upset with her son. Right? She felt that her son, from the day he was born, was just an angry little kid, and she was sick of dealing with him. He was now a teenager, like he's 13 or 14, and he's been angry with her her entire life since he was born. And I said to her, well, that's because of your emotion. Mm -hmm. Where else did this child who was pristine at the time of incarnation right, get all of these emotions? And the answer is from her emotions. And when we started focusing on her dislike of men, which was the source of her son's rebellion, she, she got very angry and upset about all of the issues about how much she dislikes men within herself. When she allowed herself to deal with all of those things, because there were all abuse issues involved with them, childhood abuse issues for her involved in them, her sons, though she's had a number of them, uh, all stopped being angry with her. And she didn't talk to them at all. Just because they, she cried, she dealt with her emotions of anger towards men by feeling them and experiencing them and losing them. And all of a sudden, her sons, who were angry with her before then, and now not angry with her. That's interesting. You see this happening all the time, actually. And the more people who understand it, the faster the transactions happen. Sure. Yeah, because it because if you you think as a parent, often what, what happens is the child is say disrespectful or you know angry or whatever other things the child's feeling. What's the first reaction of most parents? is to sit down with the child, talk to the child, punish the child, restrict the child, do all of these different things. Control. <laughs> now, really when you think about it, the parent's not looking at the cause. The cause is the parent's emotion. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. One of the two parents' emotions, probably. Or maybe both, collectively together. Right? If the parent sat down first and said, well, right, let's look at what emotion within me would cause this child to react this way, and change the emotion within them, they may never even need to have the chat with the child. Yeah. Now there are some emotions within the child that do come from its environments that are not from the parent. In other words, they go to school and they pick up something, or they, you know, an emotion from school. Or, and those kind of emotions, obviously, the parent just needs to help them work through them themselves. And obviously they're not the result of the parent's emotion. But the majority of the child's emotions are certainly the result of the parent's. Very hard as a parent to first admit that. But once you admit it and go through the process of changing emotionally, you'll find your children change very, very rapidly. Very rapidly. And it's, uh, it's just wonderful when you start seeing the relationship between cool.